More on this, let's bring in Amit Kezer in Ankara. He's an associate professor of political science and international relations at the Hassan Kalyonju University professor. Thank you for your time. Firstly, based on the success of Turkey against terrorism last year, how much safer do you think the country is today because of the government's actions? Uh, I think uh, during the final uh, applications, when we look at, they are mostly uh, relied on the point uh, intelligence, uh, just uh, on the exact point, and the key uh, the leaders were neutralized uh, with the uh, productivity and effectiveness of these intelligence activities. Of course, we can see at least two legs under this one. Uh, the, in the country, in the territory, uh, internal territory, we see that Minister of Interior is implementing anti-terror operations, and these are also supported by the UAVs. Uh, and these technologic uh, enhancements uh, also, uh, I think, provided these uh, final results as well. Uh, on the other hand, uh, by the execution of National Defense Ministry, outside the country's territory to prevent the terrorist attacks from the camps already uh, located in the northern Iraq and even in Syria. That also provided some uh, further effectiveness in the counterterrorism operations. Uh, so that's why within the country, uh, the terror attacks are almost limited to zero point, except for uh, a few bombing uh, activities or uh, like uh, we have uh, experienced in October in Minister of Interiors, etc. Plus, the Minister of Interior is also focused on uh, organized, international organized criminal organizations as well, because these kind of organizations have close connections with the terrorist organizations, at least to provide financial donation for the terrorist organizations. So in both legs, I think the counter-terrorist uh, operations were effectively taken over uh, by the uh, officials. Uh, that's why I think these uh, productive results were obtained. Um, what would you say Turkey requires or needs, um, be it locally or internationally, to um, uh, eliminate any threats, any threats of terrorism entirely? Uh, now, uh, when we look at the terrorism, of course, uh, indiscriminately uh, they target any country, any organization, ruling activities, and all kind of these uh, uh, organizations, and especially the states. And uh, states are the single monopoly of using power uh, to conduct security on their territory. If terrorist organizations started attacking uh, any country, uh, they do not threaten just that country's ruling regulations and the security environment. They provide threats against all the international arena as well. And we cannot imagine when they will direct their threat to other organizations or other states as well. So we see these uh, extensions also in most of the Middle Eastern countries or in European countries sometimes as well. That's why I think the struggle implemented by, or executed by Turkey is very important, not only for Turkey, but also for all the countries who respect for rule of law uh, and sovereign countries as well. So that is, of course, a legitimate right for Turkey uh, to provide security for her own citizens within the territory as a sovereign country. Here, the most problematic for the country is uh, the threat coming from Iraq and Syria, which are we can define as failed states because they cannot provide total security in their own territory. Uh, they cannot put the rules into regulation and implement in all over the territory. That makes the, I think, critical break point at this point. That's why Turkey is struggling for years with these terrorist uh, organizations and the support provided for these terrorist organizations. For example, the relations between YPG and the United States also provide some safe haven and mm. usable environment for, for these terrorist organizations to survive. I think 
there is an international cooperation and collaboration needed to overcome all these difficulties as Understood. well. Of course, Professor, really appreciate your contribution here. That's uh, Professor Ahmed Kassad, Hassan Kalyonju University. Thank you. Thanks for having me.